to sweat in the face that denotes hard labor is the healthy way to eat. The Bible teaches us to be prosperous and healthy in soul and in the body. What are the ways of the Bible? Let us not forget that it is God that teaches us the way to live. And the way that we should live is the healthy way because it is God's way. Let us read in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 19. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. This implies that Adam will live a healthy life if he heeds to the counsels of God. You see, the verse tells us, In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground, that is, till death. So Adam has the capacity to eat until death. There are people that die who do not even have the capacity or the will to eat. There are those that die because they cannot eat anymore. This implies that Adam will return to dust eating, meaning, he will have the appetite to eat. Adam will live a healthy life. If he, in the last days of his life, will heed to the counsels of God. What is that counsel? In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread. This is a very healthy habit of eating. When we eat, we must be sure that what we ate came from the sweat of our face. It is not very normal for the face to sweat. The first parts of the body that sweat are those parts which are in the corners of our joints, our armpits, or at the end of our thighs. See? Those are the parts of the body that sweat first, but not the face. When the face sweats, it describes the condition of a person doing hard labor. So, if we eat after we have labored for what we are going to eat, it is a healthy way to eat. You do not just eat without sweating. We must sweat when we eat. Meaning, we must labor for what we eat. Let us read in the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. Our right to eat comes from our labor, from our works. That is what the Lord said unto Adam. It is in his intention to keep us healthy, so that for us to be healthy, we must labor for what we are going to eat. We do not just eat without labor. We must maintain that, that principle in life, that we have to labor for what we eat. It gives us our right to eat. So, when we eat, we must work. We must work so that we can eat. We must not steal. We must not grab another person's bread to eat. We have to work for it. That is the way of the Bible. And even if you ask scientists, those who are working in hard labor just to sustain their daily needs are people who are more healthy than those who just eat without laboring those who are practicing white-collar jobs. There are those people afflicted with heart diseases, cardiovascular diseases, who die of heart attack and stroke because their bodies are not properly exercised or worked. Meaning, to sweat in the face that denotes hard labor 
is the healthy way to eat, brothers and sisters. I hope you got my point. But what are we going to eat? Can we just eat anything we want to eat? You see, in this dispensation we're in, there is an array of so many foods, tempting, delicious, and there are food chains. They call it food chains, fast food chains. They are open 24 hours, seven days a week. They never close because people never cease to eat now in this dispensation. That's why the earth now is plagued with what they call obesity. And more people now are overweight. They are not normally healthy. Most of them carry the burden of having so much stored fats in their bellies. You can see bulging tummies now. And not only bulging, but they are descending. They are going down. It is not anymore controllable by the muscles of this area of the body because too much fat, too much weight is there. They are irregularly fat. They have so much fat in the body. Imagine a waist of 58 inches. You are carrying as much as two babies. You are more than a woman carrying twins while on the family way, even if you are a man. And that causes the overwork of your system, especially the heart and the cardiovascular system of the body. So it is a problem. So it's really wise for us to know the proper way of living, eating. Let us remember that we must sweat. It is a healthy way to sweat. 